there's a new COVID mutation, which was first identified in Nepal. It's a mutation of the Delta variant, the one first identified in India back in March. What is the Delta variant? It's classed as a variant of concern as it's dominant in the UK. There have been over 12,000 cases and early evidence suggests it may lead to an increased risk of hospital admissions compared to the Kent variant. What is the new Delta mutation? It's called K417N, which is a mutation of the spike protein. This is what COVID uses to bind onto human cells. And this mutation now helps the virus to bind more tightly. K417N is also found in the beta variant first detected in South Africa. Is it in the UK? Yes, it's been identified in the UK, as well as other countries like Portugal, the USA, India and Japan. Should we be calling it the Nepal variant? Uh, the so-called Nepal mutation. The Secretary of State for Transport referenced it during his announcement for why Portugal was taken off the green travel list and no new countries added. But just because a new sequence is discovered in a country, it doesn't mean it originated from there, which is why the World Health Organization has now developed labels for variants. So it's hoped that the countries where they are first detected are not stigmatized. So what is the name for this new variant? Actually, the World Health Organization hasn't renamed this variant. They're still classing it as the Delta variant because it's a mutation of it. So if you want to be really accurate, its name is B1617.2. Do vaccines work against it? This mutation is similar to the one found in the Beta variant, which is a variant of concern because evidence has suggested that it's partially resistant to vaccines. So scientists are now monitoring it carefully. Vaccines like Pfizer have been shown to produce antibodies against the Delta variant, but these are lower than previous variants and even lower in older people, which is why researchers believe vulnerable people should have a vaccination boost in the autumn.